Hi everyone, this is Dr. Diana Song Song. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about maximization assignment problems. So in our previous videos, we had assignment problems, but the problem there is a minimization assignment problem. So uh, that's the difference with this one. We want maximization assignment problem. So let's look at this example. So a department chairperson has four teachers to assign to four different subjects, W, X, Y, and Z. All of the teachers have taught the courses in the past and have been evaluated with a score from 0 to 100. The scores are shown in the following table. So, of course, if we are in the position of the department chairperson, we want to assign the teacher wherein she or he got the maximum grade per course. So, that's why this is a maximization assignment problem. So, what is the first thing that we have to do? So first, we have to transform it into an equivalent minimization problem. And how do we do that? All you have to do, we just have this extra step. We have to subtract every number in the table from the largest number. Now, if we will look at this table, what is now the, small, the largest number here? The largest number here is 90, right? So what do we need to do? We have to subtract all of the numbers from 90. So let me now erase. So 90 minus 80, this will become 10. 90 minus 55, so that is 35. This becomes this is still 45 when we subtracted from 90. And then we have 90 minus 58, so that's 32. This is 55. This is 20. 40. 20. 40. 10. And then 25. This becomes 0. This becomes 20, 50, and then 10. Okay? So now, this table, I have this table now, our new table, and then we will now just proceed as if we have the minimization problem. Right? So we will now be working with this table over here. And what is the first step? Subtract the smallest number in each row from every number. So here, the smallest number is 10. So we subtract 10 from all of the numbers in this row. So this becomes 0, 25, 35, and 35. Next here, the smallest number is 20. So we subtract 20. So this is 12, 35, 20. Here, the smallest number is 10. So subtract 10, so 40 minus 10, 30, this becomes 10, 15. And then since the smallest number here is 0, so the last row will just be the same. Okay, so this table is now there. I just rewrote it. And then what's the second step? Or step 1B, I mean, um, we now subtract the smallest number in each column. Now here, the smallest number for this column is already 0, so we will not do anything. Here, the smallest number is 20. So let us subtract 20. This is 0, 10, 15, 5. And then for the third column, the smallest number is 0, so this remains unchanged. And then lastly, for the last column, the smallest number is 10. So let's subtract 10. This becomes 5, 10, and 25. Right? Okay, next step, we now determine if the solution is now optimal. And how do we recall? Let's recall again how do we determine if a solution is now optimal? The minimum number of lines to cover the zeros must be equal to the number of rows or columns. So let's do that. Minimum number of lines. So let me cover this because I have three zeros here. 
and then here I have two zeros I can cover and then lastly this one okay so in this case I have three lines but the number of um, rows is four so not equal to four rows so therefore this is not yet optimal so let us proceed with the next step and how do we revise the um, present opportunity cost table let me just draw again the the lines that we had earlier one two and then three right so how do we that do that subtract the smallest number not covered by a line from every other uncovered number what is now the smallest number here? That is 5, right? So we subtract that from all of the uncovered numbers. So this is 7, 10, 5, 0, 5, 5. But then we add this number. We add this number. To the numbers lying at the intersection of the horizontal and vertical line so here so I this is the intersection so I will add 5 so this becomes 40 and this becomes 55 okay now I will let's have look at this table so there that is our table and now let's determine whether this is optimal let's cover it again the number of zeros here and then i have here zero here i have a zero here and a zero here so therefore i now have four lines which is equal to the number of rows so therefore this is optimal Alright, so let us now get the final allocation. So how do we do that again? We will look at the row with only one zero. So for row A, this one, A has one zero at W. So that means we allocate A to W and then we erase row a and column w because it's already allocated let's look at the remaining um remaining rows so if we look at this one row b has one zero so i will now allocate b to y b to y and then erase that b and then column y and then next the, for the remaining, you have row C. This one has one zero at row C has one zero at column Z. So that means allocate C to Z. Therefore, that makes we allocate D to X. Understand? So this is now the optimal solution. This is the original table. A was allocated to W, B to Y, C to Z, and D to X. Is that clear?